Okay, just to say good morning, students. Uh, I'm here with a new lesson from your English textbook, The Footprints Without Feet. And coincidentally, the name of the lesson that we are going to do is also called The Footprints Without Feet, which was written by H. G. Wells. Now, H. G. Wells is a British writer, author. Okay, he has written so many story books. on different types of genres genre means different types okay and he is popularly known for his uh, work on science fiction now if you what you will see there are so many stories based on science fiction like uh, the time machine the invisible man and the war of the worlds okay yes now this particular story footprints without fate it's an extract from his book the invisible man okay yes now this uh, footprint without fit uh, it's uh, about a scientist who discovers something very special okay yes now uh, let us try to see uh, whether he was able to use this discovery in a good way or is he uh, misusing that new discovery okay yes now secondly i just want you to look at the title of the story footprints without uh, feet okay yes the two letters are highlighted green i mean red isn't it so uh, do you remember anything that we have done in the class especially the literary device yes so if you look at this carefully you will know that alliteration is used so alliteration is a literary device by which uh, we repeat the beginning sound okay uh, we have got so many great alliteration use in the names for example we have got uh, mickey mouse we have got donald duck we have got dunkin donut we have got peter pan so many things okay now if you look at this title footprints without fade you will also know alliteration use okay now these are some of the things that you have to keep in mind now let us go, come back to the lesson okay yes now let us try to see how the lesson opens okay there was a time when our stories used to start with one sapona time but things have gone now if you look at the stories in your textbook uh, the starting of the story is done in different ways now look at this the two boys started in surprise at the fresh muddy imprints of a pair of bare feet what was a barefoot man doing on the steps of a house in the middle of the london and where was the man as they gazed a remarkable sight met their eyes a fresh footmark appeared from nowhere further footprints followed one after another descending the steps and progressing down the street the boys followed fascinated until the muddy impression became far fainter and fainter and at last disappeared altogether okay you see now the story opens with the two boys okay and these two boys were surprised why were they surprised because they saw a muddy imprints on a uh, which is of a pair of bare feet now bare feet means uh, uh, without any shoe and slippers like the, it was bare feet now he saw the they both saw the imprints okay and the imprint was of the muddy okay it was of mud so you see the two boys were surprised because they saw the muddy imprints of a bare feet muddy full of mud okay and imprint means the footstep okay yes and they were uh, which is a surprise why uh, bare feet man uh, was going okay in the middle of the london street everybody when they go to the street they put on either slipper or shoe like this but that was uh, the foot mark of a bare feet and where was this man going so they were surprised so they gazed they gazed means look at something for a long time out of surprise okay and then uh, uh, in the uh, for their surprise what did they see they saw the footstep coming one after another and then these two children they followed okay yes 
and finally what happened the footprints okay gradually became fainter and fainter okay so as we move the muds uh, the stain of the mud will also disappear okay and finally it will uh, what should i say there won't be any marks of the mud isn't it so it became fainter and fainter and finally the footprint disappeared okay now from that part they did not see anything because they could not see the person they only the only thing they saw was the footstep and the footstep which received disappeared all of a sudden okay yes now okay the explanation of the mystery was simple enough now for the two children it was just a mystery he did they did not know what was actually happening but we know what was that the bewildered boys means the surprised boys what have they been doing they have been following a scientist actually now what kind of scientist the scientist who discovered how to make human body transparent so that was a simple okay but the two uh, boys they did not know what was going on isn't it now for us did we know okay it was the footprint of a scientist who had discovered how to make the human body transparent okay yes now let us see from where he got the muds okay griffin the scientist had carried out experiment after experiment to prove that the human body could become invisible finally he swallowed certain rare drugs and his body became as transparent as a sheet of glass though it was also as solid as glass brilliant scientist though he was griffin was rather a lawless person his landlord disliked him and tried to eject him in revenge griffin set fire to the house to get away without being seen he had to remove his clothes okay now in this paragraph we are introduced to the scientist now what was the name of the scientist griffin was the name of the scientist and he had been carrying out experiment after experiment to prove that human body can become invisible now is it possible in uh, which we see it in our real life i don't know okay yes but somehow he swallowed some uh, rare drugs he just swallowed to take in okay yes and his body became transparent like the sheet of a glass okay but uh, it was also a solid glass so i don't know what was his purpose of making himself invisible okay yes now he was a very brilliant scientist of obviously as an if he was not a brilliant scientist how could he be able to discover such things okay oh, but as a person griffin the scientist was a lawless person now lawless person means person who does not follow law so that is very bad so his landlord okay yes the he must be staying in one house and the landlord he disliked the scientist because he was a lawless person now he wanted to eject him means he wanted to kick him out of his house okay so griffin was very angry and in order to take revenge on his landlord what did he do he just burned the house so that is very bad isn't it now he had to run okay because otherwise he would be caught so in order to get away without being seen he had to remove all his clothes now you just tell me why did he have to remove all his clothes yes he had to remove all his clothes if he remove all the clothes then he would become uh, invisible and other people would not be able to catch him so he had to take all his clothes if he put on the clothes the people can see him because the clothes okay yes so that was the thing now he just ran away okay let us see thus it was that he became a homeless wanderer without clothes without money and quite invisible until he happened to step in some muds and left footprints as he walked okay now we will know how he got the fruit pin of the mud where did he get the mud why because he was running and uh, he became a homeless wanderer wanderer means a person who uh, which really goes from here to there without any permanent house isn't it without clothes without any money and then he just landed in some mud so this is that is why he got the mud 
Did you understand how uh, what you say the mud hoop footprint came? Okay, yes. Now let us see uh, about the small boys. He escaped easily enough from the boys who followed the footprints in London. But this adventure was by no means over. Now, although he was able to escape, isn't it? The two boys did not see anything. Okay, he was able to escape. But his adventure, now his adventure means we are talking about the Griffin's adventure by no means over. In fact, his adventure now just begins. Okay, yes. He had chosen a bad time of the year to wander over. In London, without clothes, it was midwinter. The air was bitterly cold and he could not do without clothes. Instead of walking about the streets, he decided to slip into a London store for warmth. Okay, so you see, we know that he was uh, without any clothes. Okay, and was it a good time of the year? No. Why? Because it was the midwinter and we can imagine uh, the kind of weather uh, which in England during the midwinter, it's very cold, isn't it? So he was bitterly cold. He was feeling cold. Okay. Now, uh, what should I say? What did he do? He just tried to, what should I say? Slip into a London store, one shop. Okay. Slip means move quietly and secretly because he wanted to wear some clothes. Otherwise, it's freezing cold outside. Okay. Yes. Now you see the first thing he just slipped into a store, one shop. Okay. Yes. Now let us try to see. Closing time arrived and as soon as the door was shut, Griffin was able to give himself the pleasure of clothing and fitting himself without regards to expense. He broke open the boxes and wrappers and fitted himself out with warm clothes. Soon with shoes and overcoat and wide brimmed hat, he became fully dressed and visible. In the kitchen of the restaurant, he found cold meat and coffee and he followed up the meal with sweets and wine taken from the grocery store. Finally, he settled down to sleep on a pile of quills. Okay, now he was very cold. Now, once he got inside the uh, shop, he was able to try different kind of clothes. Now, did he have to pay anything? No, without regard to any expense. It, it must be very expensive but uh, he did not have to worry because nobody was there in the shop he was all alone so he tried different kind of clothes you see the shoes of a crowd okay the hat like this and finally he was fully dressed when he was fully dressed uh, was he visible yes now he was visible if he uh, took all the clothes then he would become invisible okay now there he was wearing all the clothes and he just ate something from the restaurant okay and then what happened it was time for him to sleep now he just slept in a uh, pile of quills quill means forget the indigena it's very cold isn't it now let us see what happens the next day okay yes if only Griffin had managed to wake up in good time, all might have been well. As it was, he did not wake up until the assistants were already arriving next morning. When he saw a couple of them approaching, he just panicked and began to run. They naturally gave chase. In the end, he was able to escape only by quickly taking off his newly found clothes so once more, he found himself invisible, but naked in the chill January air. Okay, yes. Now, uh, actually, he should get up early in the morning, isn't it? Because the assistant who works in the uh, shop, they would come and do all this arrangement, isn't it? But he got late. So what happened? Uh, he just got up and then saw the assistant coming. And then he was, uh, which, uh, he was surprised and he just... Panic, panic means again. And then he started running, and uh, the assistants also followed him. But we know, uh, what should I say? There, there would be no chance for the assistant to catch. Okay, what happened? The Griffin he escaped because what did he do in order to escape? Yes, he took out all the clothes. Okay, he was wearing that new cloth, but he took out all the clothes. Uh, 
uh, and then he became invisible. When he became invisible, it was impossible for the assistant to uh, catch. But there was one thing, he was all naked and we know the kind of weather, it was very cool, isn't it? Now he was running without any clothes, he was feeling very cold. Okay, yes. Now let us try to see how long he would be able to uh, escape without any clothes. Okay, yes. Now this time he decided to try the stock of a theatrical company in the hope of finding not only clothes but also something that would hide the empty space above his shoulders. Shivering with cold, he hurried to Duran Lane, the center of the theatre world. Okay, yes. Now, first time, he just sneaked into the shop. He was able to warm himself with clothes. Now, this time, he decided to go to a theater company. Now, theater company, the company uh, which performed theater. Now, for theater, we need different kind of clothes. Now, clothes, pants, shirt, hat, all these things you will get. But apart from that, they need so many other things. Okay, so that's why he thought of covering, uh, what should I say, the uh, gap part. Okay, that means from the shoulder above, he was not able to get things. Now, in the theater company, he would get. So that was his soul. So he went inside. Okay, yes, the, there was one particular lane that was the Duran Lane, and it was the center of the theater world. Okay, yes. Now let us try to see what kind of clothes he would cover. Okay, because we know that he was naked and there is no way he could stay for long because it was very cold. So he had to, uh, what should I say, uh, think of uh, covering himself with clothes. Okay, yes. He soon found a suitable shop. He made his way invisible upstairs and came out a little later wearing bandages round his forehead, dark glasses, false nose, big bushy side whiskers and a large hat. To escape without being seen, he callously attacked the shopkeeper from behind, after which he robbed him of all the money he could find. So you see what happened. He, he was able to find a very suitable. Suitable means he wanted something else. Okay. Yes. No, he was able to get that thing. So what did he do? He just made his way invisible because he was naked. So when he entered, nobody could see because he was naked. So upstairs and now he came back wearing so many extra things. What were the things he was wearing? He was wearing the bandages around his forehead. Okay. Yes, it was very cold. So he has to cover everything. The glasses, the false nose and the bushes side whiskers and finally a large hat. Okay. Now he was able to cover all the things. Now when he was able to cover all these things, do you think he would be visible? Yes, he would be visible. So, in order to escape without being seen, what did he do? He carelessly means, carelessly without any sense, okay, sensitive, okay, yes, he attacked the shopkeeper, look at him, okay, yes, and after which he robbed him of all the money he could not only attack, but he took all the money he got, you got it, so such was the person, the scientist Griffin, okay, and then he started running because he got the clothes and he got some money okay eager to get away from the crowded london he took a train to the village of iping where he booked two rooms at a local inn now what did he do now he was tired of the crowded london okay now he wanted to go to some peaceful place okay so what did he do he just took a train to the village of iping so he started going to a, a village called Iping and there he booked two rooms, not one room, two rooms, okay, at the local inn. Local inn means inn is a place where you get accommodation, okay, just like a hotel. So I'm going to stop here. Now, uh, if we continue, then we will know his adventure in the village, what were some of the things. Now, so far, I just want you to uh, think of all the, uh, what should I say, part we have done, okay? This, the footprints without fit, it's about a scientist who discovered how to make human body invisible, okay? He was very brilliant, but he was also a lawless person. He does not respect the law. Okay. And then, you know, he just started running away. Why? Because he burned the house of his landlord. Now, from that time, he was always, uh, what should I say, uh, running. And in order to make himself invisible for others, what, uh, what did he have to do? He had to 
uh, which will take off all the clothes but it was a bad season okay it was not a good time because it was winter so if he really want to become invisible he had to take all his clothes now if he took all his clothes then he uh, what should I, he had to bear the cold winter okay so that was the thing so i'm sure you have enjoyed uh, so you just go through all the parts we have done and then we will do the next part okay yes thank you